Hello guys. So good afternoon. So welcome sa una nating post laboratory discussions for the finals. So today our topic I will focus on the hormones which are produced by your thyroid glands and your adrenal glands. So, mula na natin. So, let's start with thyroid glands first. So, we have our main thyroid hormones. We have T3, T4, and calcitonin. Class, isn't it that we discussed already calcitonin? So, ang calcitonin, it's very important in the um, regulation of calcium. Yeah. Regulation of calcium, especially class spec especially ano ang ginagawa niya sa calcium does it, did it does it decrease calcium or increase calcium yan pakibalikan ha but today the main um the main thyroid hormones that we're going to talk about are your T3 and T4 T3 and T4 thyroid hormones so class this T3 and T4 thyroid hormones so when it is usually increased so meron kang hyperthyroidism. Kung decrease ang mga T3, T4 um, hormones mo, meron kang hypothyroidism. Yan. So, the one that stimulates the production of your T3 and T4 by, by your thyroid glands is your thyroid stimulating hormone. So, para iodjok, stimulate ang thyroid gland, magproduce ng thyroid hormones. So, we have your TSH, your thyroid stimulating hormone, which is produced by your anterior or, pit, or posterior pituitary gland. Ha? Nung kakalimutan na, please search ha, anong nagproproduce ng TSH? Anterior pituitary or posterior pituitary gland. And, class, this TSH, TSH so that it would Para makaproduce tayo ng TSH, your pituitary gland is um, stimulated by a hormone produced by your hypothalamus, which is your thyroid-releasing hormone or thyrotropin-releasing hormone. Ayan. So, class, so your follicular cells, so if you're going to focus this in your uh, microscope, itong mga follicular cells, para sa akin mukha silang globules. Yan. So, napaka-distinct ng mga itsura ng follicular cells. Um, ayun, inside it, this, we have your T4 or your thyroxine. So, your T3 or your l tri da Try iodothyronine and RT3, reverse T3. So, ito yung mga pinaproduce ng follicular cells natin. Um, class, I think Sobrang gasgas na yung kwento ko about my thyroid. So, napaka malapit talaga sa puso ko ang thyroid hormones because yun nga, so I already had my, a lobe of my thyroid removed. So, thankfully, meron pa akong left thyroid. Hence, I still have follicular cells which produces T3 and T4 for me. So, class, alam nyo ba that at least meron pa nga akong natitira because class if i do not have any any thyroid hormones anymore class it will really affect my metabolism yeah it will really affect my metabolism and i should be intaking um synthetic hormones so if natanggal yung buong thyroid gland ko. But thankfully, class, meron pang natira because thyroid hormones are very important in metabolism. Class, I have this. Yung friend ko, may classmate daw siya. Tapos yung classmate niya daw, may hypothyroidism. Yan. Literal daw, class. Sobrang slow ng slow ng classmate niya. Slow maglakad, slow mag-isip, slow magsalita, slow ang metabolism. So, nag-i-increase ang weight niya. So, because she doesn't have enough thyroid hormones, yan. Yung may ano naman akong friend, yan. Nakala niya effective yung diet routine niya. Yan. Sabi niya, friend, pumapayat na ako. Ganyan. However, itong si friend ko pala, meron palang Graves' disease. Yan. May Graves' disease pala siya. May hyperthyroidism pala siya. Tapos, ayun, kaya siya pumapayat class. Kasi nga, nag-increase yung metabolism niya due to hyperthyroidism. May hypothyroidism na pala si auntie. Okay. So, your thyroid hormones are very important because it acts on every cell. Yan. It's very important 
for the functions of each cell in your body from your skin cells yeah, to your heart cells cardiac tissue sa mga liver kidney all cells yeah it reg regulates your metabolism so hence it um, regulates the the consumption of your cells of glucose of protein of oxygen consumption yan kung mabilis mabagal retarded and we have growth and tissue differentiation so for the pro, um for the formation of muscles for your reproduction class for your nerve endings napakahalaga ng thyroid hormones yan so class um if you can, so always, sabi ng doctor sa akin that we should, you should always use iodizol, ganyan. Eat so much seafood. Plus, goiter daw is very common. So, goiter is the inflammation of your thyroid gland. So, goiter is very common, can be endemic in areas wherein there is decreased iodine, especially sa mga mountainous area daw. Yan. So, ayun. Ma'am, paano ba nagagawa? Ano bang, ma'am, bakit iodine ang nap, napaka-specific sa goiter? Ganyan. So, iodine, yan, is very important in iodination of tyrosine residues result in the formation of monoiodotyrosine and diiodotyrosine. So, class, um, so that to pro, to produce your MIT and DIT, so we need tyrosine and iodine. So iodine should be included to your tyrosine so that we can produce your MIT and DIT. Yan. So this MIT and DIT will be converted to T3, a T4 class. It happens in the tissues like your kidney and liver. So class T4 muna. Tapos, para makagawa ng T3, so, deiodination of T4 para makagawa ng T3. So, first class, so, tyrosine, we will add iodine. So, iodination of tyrosine. Then, we will produce monoiodotyrosine. Then, diiodotyrosine. Tapos class, it will now go to your kidney and liver and we can now have your tyroxine. So, tyroxine is your T4. Yan. So, class, yan. So, we, your body requires at least 50 micrograms of iodine per day. So, napakalaga ng iodine in the creation of your thyroid hormone. So, ang Class tyrosine is an amino acid. Yan. So tyrosine is also an important amino acid inside for thyroid formation. Um, so let's I know let's follow the my narrative. So um yung friend ko ang nakakita na mukhang may ano ko parang may bukol sa when I was in college, I think third year, sabi niya, friend, parang may, ano ka dito, parang may bukol, yan. So, yun, goiter na pala. So, I went to an endocrinologist, and for the next three years class, I th I was taking thyroxine, yan, thyroxine. Um, so far, when I was diagnosed, um, my, my T3 and T4 are in normal levels naman, class. So, however, wala, lumakit lang talaga yung um, goiter ko. So, I was taking tyroxine regularly. Then, apparently, after a couple of years, the tyroxine was not working. It's not shrinking. So, hindi siya nagdala ng gamot. So, nung yun, nag-decide na ako to have it removed. Yan. So, class, so that your... Um, for the control or the regulation of your thyroid hormones, so we have this hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis, so HPTA. So isn't it that we have a negative feedback mechanism? So ibig sabihin, class, pag nag-spike yung thyroid hormones mo, yan. Bababa yung TSH mo, bababa yung TRH mo, yan. Para bumaba rin yung thyroid hormones. Kung tumataas naman na yung levels of thyroid hormones mo, yan. Kung tumataas na yung levels of thyroid hormones mo, tataas or bababa ang ano, TSH. Dapat, 
its action is it should go down. So this, your negative feedback loop class is a um, compensatory mechanism. So kung may tumataas yung isa, bababa yung isa para bumaba rin sila to achieve homeostasis. Yan. So there is a uh, synchronized play between them. Yan. So, class, kung mataas ang TSH production, tataas rin ang thyroid hormones. Pero kung mataas na masyado yung thyroid hormones, kailangan bumaba na yung TSH para bumaba na rin. Huwag masyadong tumaas yung thyroid hormones. Yan. So, because it greatly affects your metabolism. Yan. So, neuroendocrine regulator regulation. So, ibig sabihin kasama yung nerves in in regulating the levels of your um, thyroid hormones. Yan. So, class, we have these two main hormones and, you know, let's discover them. Ha? Kung anong mas better, kung anong mas active, kung anong mas marami. So, class, your, simulan natin sa T4 na lang muna. So, your T4, thyroxine or tetra iodothyronine, so apat yung iodine residues nito. So, it's the most abundant and principal secretory product. So, class, in your circulation, yan, T4 ang pinaka marami. And actually, there are mas maraming free T4. Yan. There's, there's many free T4. Yan. So, class, um, testing for thyroid hormones can be very expensive. Yan. Paano kung ano, may mahirap tayong pasyente? Yan. Hindi niya kayang mag-test ng lahat ng thyroid function test. Yan. But we want to, to, te to um, check their thyroid levels. Yan. Ano pipili mo? Free T4 free T4 test or free T3, T3 test. Yan. Better, syempre, piliin yung dalawa. Pero, if you could only choose one, yan, FT4, free T4, yan, because it's the most abundant, yan, it's a good indicator of thyroid secretory rate. Yan. So, to see, to assess if your um, thyroid secretion is going well, yan, T4 tayo. And class, so that T3 will be produced, there should be T4. So it's a pro-hormone. It's a prerequisite to produce your T3. Ayan. So yan, class. So class, if there is, sabi niya dito, increase in thyroxine inhibits TSH secretion. So kung tumataas ang thyroxine, dapat expect mo in a normal, in a normal situation, dapat mo baba ang TSH. Ayan. So, for triiodothyronine, so it came from the removal of one iodine from your T4. So, sabi niya, it's a good indicator of recovery and recurrence from hyperthyroidism. Ang problem mo, class, sa T3, most of the T3 are bound to proteins. So, class, kung mababa ang mga protein carriers, mawawaba rin ang T3. It's affected by your, um, the presence of protein in the circulation. However, it's still the most active thyroid hormone. So, it, most of your T3 are produced from T4. It is used for diagnosing T3 thyrotoxicosis. So, mataas ang T3 pag may T3 thyrotoxicosis. So, this is what I told you, that um, the levels of your T3 and T4 can be affected by the proteins, the binding protein. So, we have three class. So, we have TBG, transthyretine, and TBA to be announced. So, thyroxine binding globulin. So, most of it is mostly transports your T4. Yan, TBG. So, actually, mahalaga ang TBG in the diagnosis of euthyroid. Let's talk about it later. We have thyroxine binding prealbumin. So, it transports 15 to 20% of total T4. Yan. And we have thyroxine binding albumin. It transports T3. 
So class, um, so ayun, so from the word, so we have hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism are the clinical significance of your thyroid hormone. Yan. So pag hypothyroidism class, expect your thyroid hormones, ang T3 at T4 na mabaka. And expect in your hyperthyroidism na mataas ang T3 and T4. So class, sa hypothyroidism, Actually, yun, mabagal sila. They have um, somnolence, yan, mabagal ko, lethargy, yan, slow speech, um, intolerance to cold. So, when we say intoler intolerance to cold, so they are very sensitive to cold temperature. So, malamigin itong mga to. Usually, they have weight gain. Yan. Oh, because of in, decrease in metabolism. Yan. And bradycardia, mabagal. So, pag hypothyroidism, mababagal. Usually, malamigin. Yan. Fatigue, mapagurin. Yan. Kasi mabagal yung metabolism nila. Ito naman, class, we have hyperthyroidism. So, they have high thyroid levels. Intolerance to heat. So, ibig sabihin, they are sensitive to heat. They have bulging eyes, class. Yung bulging eyes, yung exophthalmia, makikita mo lang yan sa hyperthyroidism, specifically, class, Graves' disease. Yun. So, yung friend ko, yan. So, chinita siya. Nagtaka siya, ba't biglang lumalaki na yung mata ko? May Graves. na no, yun. Class, Graves' disease is an autoimmune. Hence, may autoimmune yung friend ko. Autoimmune disease. Yun. Muscle wasting because of excess, um, excess, uh, metabolism, weight loss. So, usually muscle wasting means parang um, your, since your body is consuming so much energy yeah, and that it's um, it's getting energy and um, nutrients from your muscles. Yun, may tremors, mabilis, may tachycardia, mabilis ang pagtibok. Yun. So, class, um, ayun sabi sa akin na mas, ma mas mahirap i-manage ang hyperthyroidism because it it ano eh, it it hastens the beating of the heart pinapabilis niya. So better na mas mabagal ang beating ng heart kaysa masyadong mabilis may mga palpitation. So delikado sa puso ang may hyperthyroidism. So the doctors prefer na tanggalin na lang yung thyroid ng mga may hyperthyroidism. Yun yung sabi sa friend ko na kailangan i-chemo or radiology ata siya. Yan. Kailangan siyang i-radiotherapy actually to instead of removing the total thyroid gland, kailangan i-radiotherapy para patayin yung mga follicular cells. Kasi it's, it's just excreting so much thyroid hormones and it's bad for the body. Yan. Ganun. Ganun pala yung class. Yan. Napaka-interesting ng ano, hyper and hypothyroidism. So, yun, class. Na, yan. Hyperthyroidism, heat intolerance. Yun, class, baka may kakilangan kayo mapapawisin. Ganun, mapapawisin. Laging hinihingal. Galing pagod. Eh, ang lamig-lamig naman. Yan. Hyperthyroidism. Hypothyroidism, malambigin. Yan. Bradycardia, weight gain. So, class, um, so here is now your hyperthyroidism muna tayo. So, what are the specific diseases under hyperthyroidism? So, magsimula muna tayo sa thyrotoxicosis. So, in thyrotoxicosis, only the T3 is, only the T3 is increased. Yan. So, patas ang T3. Um, so, the other name of T3 thyrotoxicosis is Plummer's disease or toxic multinodular nodule. Or goiter ata ito. Yan. Pakicheck yung class. I think it's, this is toxic multinodular goiter. So, ibig sabihin maraming, ano, masyado maraming bukol-bukol. Buti na lang sa akin, class. Isa lang yung goiter ko. Isang malaking mass. Isang tumor, class. So, ito, maraming tumor. Yan. So, ganyan, o, class. Yan. 
Tapos class, um, we have Graves disease. So Graves disease is an autoimmune disease. Pag sinasabi natin it autoimmune disease, usually may auto antibody. So itong auto antibody na to, loko loko tong auto antibody nito. It stimulates the TSH receptor. Yan. So class, so dapat ang nagsistimulate sa TSH receptor para magproduce ng TSH is um is your um TRH your thyro thyroid hormone release thyroid releasing hormone so ang dapat ang normally dapat ang nagse-stimulate sa TSH is TRH however may mga nuisance tayo na auto antibodies wherein yan imbis na kunyari imbis na si Mary ang magse-stimulate kay TSH itong mga pasaway na auto antibodies na si La Pedro yan so sila ang nagse-stimulate sa thyroid sa TSH receptor. So, mag-proproduce ng mas maraming TSH. So, anong epekto ng mas maraming TSH? Mas maraming T3 and T4. Yan. So, class, these autoantibodies are nuisance. Yan. They stimulate excessively your TSH receptor, producing increased TSH, producing increased T3 and T4. Grabe. Grabe to ha. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan, itong Graves disease, this is type of hyperthyroidism wherein there is excess stimulation of the TSH receptor producing excess TH, TSH producing excess T3 and T4. Nagkakaintindihan ba? So, there are overproduction of your thyroid hormones in class. Yan. So, exophthalmia or exophthalmos is one of the common and specific pathognomonic sign for Graves' disease. Yan. So, class, pag lumulungwa na agad talaga yung mata, malaking chance na Graves' disease yung hyperthyroidism mo. Yan. So, class, one way to diagnose you if you have Graves' disease is my friend went to um, my friend went to uh, St. Luke's at yun, nagpa-test siya ng autoantibodies. Yan. To see if she has autoantibodies for Graves' disease and she has. So, may auto may Graves talaga si ate. Yan. So, class, what else? We have Rydell's thyroiditis. So, the characteristics of this is your goiter becomes woody or a hard mass matigas. So, nagiging fibrous ang thyroid mo. Tapos, di ba, globular globules ang labas ang lasa loob ng ng ano, ng ng thyroid gland, yung mga cells dapat globular. So, now here nagiging fibrous na. So, parang nagiging scar tissue na yung thyroid mo kaya tumitigas. We have darker veins or subacute thyroiditis or sub darker veins thyroiditis or subacute thyroiditis. So painful. This is a painful type of thyroid um disease tapos yon subacute siya according to them and we have subclinical hyperthyroidism. So when we say subclinical there is no apparent um symptoms. Yan. So, asymptomatic. So, yan. Asymptomatic siya kasi nga mababa. Normal yung FT3 and T4. Walang symptom. When we say subclinical, it's asymptomatic. But they have hyperthyroidism. Sa akin siguro class subclinical, walang symptoms. Normal rin. Yung mga ano, siguro ka, hyperthyroidism yun. Pero wala naman sa puso eh. Kaya, ay, hindi ko alam kung anong diagnosis talaga sa akin. Goiter, yun lang. <laughs> okay. So, class, we have hypothyroidism. Yan. So, sa hypothyroidism, it's classified as primary, secondary, and tertiary hypothyroidism. Dito muna nga tayo. So, class, pag hypothyroidism, expect na mababa ang yung T3 at T4. So, expect kung primary man yan, secondary or tertiary, mababa ang thyroid hormones. Kung, 
yung primary na word, yan, it pertains that there's something wrong with the thyroid gland itself. There's something wrong with the thyroid thy thyroid gland itself. So the word primary pertains to the thyroid pertains where the problem is. Yeah. So pag primary, the problem lies in your thyroid gland. In your secondary class, so secondary points to the pituitary gland. <coughs> so when when a doctor says, anak, you have hypothyroidism, meaning your hypothyroidism was caused by a disease in your pituitary gland. What normal ang thyroid gland mo, ang may mali, ang may sira ay nasa utak. Yung pituitary gland mo ang may mali. Yan, either may tumor, ganyan, or something stimulates your pituitary gland to produce um decreased amount of TSH. In class, we have tertiary um, tertiary hypothyroidism. Normal ang thyroid gland, normal ang pituitary gland. However, but there's something wrong with your hypothalamus. There's something wrong with the production of your thyrotropin releasing hormone. Yeah. So rare daw ang mga tertiary hypothyroidism at rare rin ang mga secondary hypothyroidism. So class, for tertiary thyroidism, so tignan nyo sa table natin, notice that it, there is decreased production of TRH. Pababa ang TRH na pinaproduce ng hypothalamus, malamang, mababa, unti lang rin yung masistimulate yung production ng TSH. So kunti, kung kunti ang TSH, kunti rin ang T3 and T4. Yan, T3 and T4. Class, hindi, maka, hindi magawa ni TSH na mag-produce pa ng marami kasi yung nag-stimulate sa kanya, which is TRH, is very scarce or very little. So, pag tertiary hypothyroidism, expect that your T3, T4, TSH, and TRH are decreased. Yan. So, for primary and secondary hypothyroidism, normal ang amount of production of your TRH kasi normal naman ang hypothalamus. Yeah. For secondary hypothyroidism, um, apparently, there's something wrong with the pituitary gland. So, it cannot, apparently, due to a tumor, ganyan, it cannot produce enough TSH. So, though the, there's a normal... Um, production of TRH, TSH cannot produce enough due to a disease in the pituitary gland. Hence, there is decreased TRA, TR, T3, and T4 hormones. And finally, we have primary hypothyroidism. So, there's something wrong with the thyroid gland. And so, the thyroid gland has, do not have enough ability to produce T3 and T4, perhaps a presence of a antibody. Ganyan. May umaatake sa mga follicular glands, hindi makaproduce ng T3 and T4. Ayun. But class, since your pituitary gland is normal, so the TSH tends to compensate and tumataas siya. So, class, makikita nyo na tumataas ang TSH. So, kung mababa ang T3 at T4 at tumataas pa ang TSH, automatic yan. Dapat high primary hypothyroidism na yan. Okay? So, kung yung dalawa decrease T3, T4, then TSH, so hypothyroidism, normal ang TRH. Kung decrease na silang tatlo, so tertiary hypothyroidism na yan. So, balik tayo, guys, dito sa si mga hypothyroidism natin. So, let's start with your primary hypothyroidism. So, we have two. We have Hashimoto's disease and myxedema. So, for Hashimoto's, kung meron tayong graves, grabe ang pag-produce ng thyroid hormones, guys. So, we have your Hashimoto's disease. Yeah. And so, Hashimoto's disease is also classed an autoimmune disease. It's an autoimmune disease wherein the person has thyroidal peroxidase antibody. This TPO, this thyroidal peroxidase antibody class, attacks your follicular cells. Hence, we cannot produce T3 and T4 anymore. So, it destroys Hash na eh. Hashimoto's disease. Decrease T3 and T4. Hash na hash na yung mga... 
<laughs> follicular cells mo with the TPO. Hence, hindi ka na makaproduce ng thyroid hormone. So, expect your thyroid hormones going down. Though your TSH is going up. Sabi ni TSH, go, mag-produce ka. Mag-produce ka ng thyroid hormones. Ang baba ng thyroid hormones sa circulation. But walang magawa. Hindi mga produce ng T3 and T4 kasi nasira yung basically yung factory yan ng hormone inatake ng thyroidal peroxidase antibody. Yan. And yes, what else? We have myxedema. So, myxedema happens. So, it's a non-pitting or swelling or infiltration of the mucopoly mucopolysaccharide in the skin. So, klase ito muna yung Hashimoto. So, um, there's enlargement and inflamed thyroid though it's underactive. So, ang, malalo, ang paglakin, ang goiter class, hindi lang naman siya hyperthyroidism, pati hypothyroidism. When it's under attack, yan, it's inflamed, it's it's being it's enlarged yan lumalaki siya it's swelling yun so hashimotos it's an autoimmune this way autoimmune disease similar with your graves disease however for graves disease the hormones are going up because of, because of the excess stimulation of the TSH receptor for hashimotos the hormones are going down because of your um, thyrox, thyroidal peroxidase antibody. Yan. So, it attacks the, the makers of your hormones. Yan. Tapos, class, interesting rin. Grabe talaga itong um, thyroid hormones that if you have decreased thyroid hormones, it can result to myxedema. So, there can be something wrong with the mucous polysaccharide of the skin causing swelling. Yun. Swelling in your skin. Yan, myxedema. Class, we also have, bakit nauna na to? Congenital hypothyroidism. So, this is a um, side note to. So, class, in cases na the mom, the pregnant woman have um, iodine deficiency during birth, during pregnancy, or there's an anomaly in the baby wherein it did not develop it, it has a very small thyroid gland or it, our thyroid gland did not develop. So, the baby could have congenital hypothyroidism or keratinism. Yeah. So, class, thanks to newborn screening, we can, we can now screen keratinism um, once the baby is a neonate. So, actually, congenital hypothyroidism is very treatable. Class, if it would not be treated, it can result to growth retardation, developmental um, problems for the baby. You know, sabi niya, before treatment, the baby is puffed up, dull-looking face, protruded tongue, baka hindi pa masyadong umiiyak, kasi nga may hypothyroidism siya. But class, once it's diagnosed by your NBS or newborn screening class, yun, pwede nang makarecover yung baby. So, what's napaka-life-saving talaga ng newborn screening? Yan. So, actually, it's in our law. Newborn screening of 2003, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, every baby should be should be tested with, for newborn screening to test for congenital diseases or metabolic disorders. Yan. Uh, and the baby is covered by PhilHealth. Yan. So, may discount pag magpapa-assess ka ng newborn screening. Ang rami ng disorders na um, na dinedetect class. Yan. Tapos yun, many of the congenital disorders are very treatable. So, yan. Pwede nang bigyan nito si baby ng tyroxine. Ganyan. Or iodine. Depende kung anong problema niya. Para hindi na lumala. Ganda-ganda ng newborn screening talaga. 
So we have secondary hypothyroidism. Wala kong picture. So secondary hypothyroidism, so there's something wrong with the pituitary gland. So if there's pituitary destruction or pituitary adenoma, so may tumor sa pituitary gland. So expect that TSH, T3, and T4 levels are decreased. We have thyroid hypothyroidism. There's something wrong with the hypothalamus. So decreased lahat. Okay, so class, um, sabi niya, so sometimes you have this euthyroid, so it refers to a normal functioning thyroid gland. However, there is the presence of abnormal concentration of PBG, so your thyroid binding globulin. Tama ba ako? TBG, itong ano natin, carrier natin. So pag mataas yung TBG, either in estrogen therapy, pregnancy, decreased TBG, nephrotic syndrome, ingestion of drugs, decreased protein in the circulation. You thyroid. Okay, class. So for um, thyroid function tests, we have a lot. So to test the, the function of your thyroid gland, so we have um, thyroid tropin releasing hormone, TRH, and so let's assess if the hypothalamus is is producing enough TRH, we have TSH, so it's produced by your pituitary gland. We have radioactive iodine uptake. Yeah? So your, we have iodine tracers class. So iodine tracers are ingested by the person, tapos they are assessing how much the thyroid will uptake, how much iodine the thyroid will uptake. So if it utilizes iodine well, we have thyroglobulin assay. So this is a tumor marker for your thyroid gland. So class, um, the way they use thyroglobulin is, kunyari, thyroglobulin kasi class is a marker which is produced by your thyroid cells. Yan. So example, nagpa-thyroid, total thyroidectomy ka na, pinatanggal mo na yung buong um, thyroid mo. Therefore, wala ka na dapat thyroid cells. Yeah. Therefore, dapat negative na yung thyroglobulin mo. But if you have cancer in your thyroid gland, so, ibig sabihin, there are indig indigenous, indig indigenous sources of um, thyroid... Ibig sabihin, class, pag napatanggal mo yung <laughs> yung thyroid glands mo, tapos may, may positive, biglang positive ka sa thyroid globulin mo, there are endogenous sources or there are something outside the thyroid that is producing thyroid globulin which can be cancer. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa natanggal completely or may cancer cell ka in the thyroid kung positive ka pa rin sa thyroglobulin or kanyari, pina radiotherapy mo na. So, pina, pinatay mo na lahat ng follicular, follicular cells. So, to assess kung successful ba yung pagka-remove ng pagka-radiotherapy, so mag-test ka ng thyroglobulin. So, either may, meron pang natirang follicular cells or may cancer. We have reverse T3, so it's also produced by your follicular cells. We have free thyroxine index, yeah. so it's it's a good indicator of secretion of your um, thyroid as well. We have free T3, so what I <laughs> total T3, free T3, and free T4. So, ang sinasuggest ko, if you have to choose one, free T4 na lang. Yan. Most accurate assessment of thyroid hormone levels because it avoid changes in plasma protein binding capabilities. Because um, most of your T4 are free, unlike your T3. You have T3 uptake test, TBG, yan, to assess if you have view thyroid. Thyroid nuclear scan, yan, na-try ko na rin yan. So, they injected me with, with radionuclide. Yan, inject nila ako. Tapos, umiga ako. Iniscan nila yung thyroid ko. Tapos, class, nag-glow yung thyroid ko. Fine needle aspirate. So, fine needle aspiration is um, the specimen is brought to the histopathology section. So, yun yung what the doctor did. So, ginawa nila rin sa akin to. So, they will get a needle. 
they will insert it guided by the ultrasound insert they inserted it in my goiter last tapos inaspirate nila tapos yon the cells that they that they acquired um i think parang yun in stain nila i think cytology test so baka pop stain ang ginamit nila parang pop smear yan to assess kung normal ba yung mga cells yan na nasa goiter ko Ayan. And we have thyroid ultrasound. And next class, on na lang, we have adrenal gland hormones. Yan. So, your adrenal gland is very important. Yan. So, class, your adrenal gland, so we have two main parts. We have your adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla. So, yung adrenal cortex class, um, napakalaga kasi it manages three important hormones. Hormones that regulate the salt in the body, hormones that regulate the sugar in the body, and the hormones that regulates the sex, <laughs> the sex of the body. Yeah, so yun sa adrenal cortex yun. So class, so that your adrenal cortex will produce the different hormones, it should be stimulated by adrenocorticotropic hormone. Yan. And so that's ACTH will be produced by your pituitary gland. Kailangan it should be stimulated by your corticotropin releasing hormone. So same thing, class there is negative feedback. So kung tumataas na masyado yung mga adrenal cortex hormones mo, dapat bababa na ang CRH and ACTH. Yan. So, yan. In a normal situation. So class, let's Introduce you with our adrenal gland. Saan po ba nahanap ang adrenal gland? Sa may taas ng kidney. Yan. So, ito siya. So, patriangle siya. So, class, merong two main parts ang adrenal gland natin. We have adrenal cortex. Itong mga linya-linya to, yung mga pinkish. Itong pinkish na to, this is your adrenal cortex. And yung pinakagitna, class, is your adrenal medulla. So, isa-isa muna tayo. So, your adrenal cortex class have three zones. Yan. Zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata, and re zona reticularis. So, from the superficial to the deepest is yung uh, GFR. Glomerulosa, fasciculata, and reticularis. Yan. So, yung teacher ko when I was in college, never ko ma talaga mga kalimutan to sabi niya the the deeper the deeper it gets ayan the deeper it gets the sweet the sweeter it is something like that yan the deeper it is the sweeter it is yan so so kasi G daw G yung glomerulosa it regulates salt yan salt big S salt yan Itong fasciculata, di ba, the deeper it gets, the sweeter it is. So, yung fasciculata, it regulates sugar. Yan, isang S. Yan. So, una sa glomerulosa, it regulates S, which is salt. Your fasciculata, fasciculata it regulates another S, which is sugar. Yan. And your zona reticularis class, it regulates another S, which is sex. Yan, mga sex hormones. Kaya the deeper it gets, the sweeter it is daw. Tapos class, so ano ba yung ano, mga hormones na nasa glomerulosa at ma'am sabi nyo S as in salt. So yun, andito yung mineralocorticoids, which is your aldosterone. Isn't it that in our discussion with your electrolytes, your aldosterone conserves sodium. It retains sodium. We have fasciculata, so it regulates the sugar metabolism through your cortisol. And for your zona reticularis, it produces your androgens. Yeah. So class, um, when you were a baby and your testes or your ovary was not yet mature, yeah, so our sources of our sex hormones are your um, from your adrenal cortex, from zona reticularis. So yung androgens ang ginagamit natin para magmuha tayong babae, para magmuha tayong lalaki. Yeah. And class, 
So, pag-aaralin din natin today yung adrenal medulla. So, sa kanya galing yung epinephrine at norepinephrine. Ayun na. Yun na yung discussion natin sa adrenal gland. So, class, your zona glomerular isa produces your mineralocorticoids. So, corticoids kasi steroid hormones. So, when we say steroid hormones, kailangan ng cholesterol para gawin siya. So, napangalaga ng cholesterol. cholesterol. So, yun, class, mineralo. So, it regulates the minerals. Yan. So, aldosterone. Yan. It conserves sodium. It retains sodium. Yan. Kasi, di ba, where salt goes, water follows. So, kung, tin kung iniwan mo aldosterone sa loob ng katawan, papataasin mo yung blood pressure. You will retain more water. We have fasciculata. So, it produces your glucocorticoids. The main one is your cortisol. So, Class na rin nyo, cortisol is a stress hormone. So, class, when you are stressed, your body tends to metabolize, metabolize more glucose. Yan. So, kung laging mataas ang cortisol mo, lagi kang stress, you are prone to diabetes, class. We have zona reticularis, yung pinaka-innermost layer. So, yung mga, it produces your androgens for sexual function before puberty. Class, just a bit of review. So, yun, class, di ba? So, isa sa minakamahalagang hormone sa adrenal cortex is your aldosterone. So, your aldosterone promotes the increase of blood pressure and blood volume. So, kung ang isang tao, bumababa yung blood pressure niya, class, ang inaactivate natin is aldosterone. So, class, paano tumat... So, paano, ano, kailangan tumaas ang aldosterone? Of course, your um, it should be initiated first by your CRH, corticotropic releasing hormone, tapos ACTH. So, itong ACTH now will start your RAS. Ayan. So, your just a glomerular apparatus will detect that there is low serum and low sodium. Ayan. So, renin will be produced. So, our raas nga. So, renin will catalyze angiotensinogen. Angiotensinogen will convert angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. And angiotensin 2 will stimulate the secretion of aldosterone. So, class, papataasin ng aldosterone. So, it, aldosterone will, um, will retain or conserve more um, potassium, and it will release release in the excretion more more potassium. It will retain more sodium. Yan. So, papataasin niya yung BP mo. So, kung bumababa na yung BP mo, da, tumataas dapat yung aldosterone. So, class, in cases of hyperaldosteronism, so, meron na naman tayong word, oh, primary. So, pag sanabi natin primary, there's something wrong with the adrenal gland itself. Yan. Pag sinabi natin secondary, there's nothing wrong with adrenal gland. So, pwedeng pituitary gland, yun, or other sources. So, class, so primary hyperaldosteronism, we have con syndrome, or in, there, there's a tumor in the, in the adrenal cortex na nagpro-produce ng masyadong maraming um, aldosterone. Aldosterone secreting carcinomas. Apparently, may mga ganun pala. Tumor na nagpro-produce ng aldosterone. Hyperplasia of the adrenal cortex. So, there are excess cells which produces aldosterone. We have secondary hyperaldosteronism. So, there's nothing wrong with the adrenal gland. Sabi niya, extra adrenal stimulation. So, in cases that there is excess renin, Kasi, di ba, renin is a converting enzyme. So, pag mas maraming renin, mas maraming nagpro-produce na, na, na aldosterone, malignant hypertension, renin-secreting renal hormone. So, not necessary ang may mali sa pituitary gland. We also have hypoaldosteronism. So, in cases wherein there is atrophy, of your adrenal gland kasi primary eh. So, ang may mali is adrenal gland. Autoimmune disease, something is attacking your adrenal gland cells. TB, prolong high dosage of cortisol therapy. Secondary, hypocorticolism. 
So, pituitary hypofunction. Ito, hindi na tayo. <laughs> so, yun, class, hypoaldosteronism, decreased adrenal glands, Addison's disease, atrophy of the adrenal glands, and congenital 21 hydroxylase enzyme deficiency. So, class for hypercorticalism, so pri primary hypercorticalism, hypocortic, may mali sa adrenal gland. So, ang, com ang very common talaga, class, na magkaroon ng cancer or tumor sa adrenal cortex. Exogenous administration of cortisol, Cushing syndrome. Secondary hypercorticalism, excessive production of ACTH of your pituitary gland. We have hypocorticalism. So, nag-atrophy yung adrenal glands. So, class, we are now in adrenal medulla. So, ang pinakatatandaan nyo lang dito ay catecholamines. So, we have three catecholamines, which are epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Di ba pag narinig ko naman ito, these are your hormones for fight or flight. Yan, fight or flight. So, class, your epinephrine and norepinephrine, class, they're, um, it's VMA or vanillyl mandelic acid is very important for them to be um, formed. So, Tyrosine na naman ang amino acid dito. So, um, in charge for the production of epinephrine and norepinephrine are your chromaffin cells. Chromaffin cells, huwag niyong kakalimutan yan ha. Sa adrenal medulla lang yan natatagpuan. Huwag niyong kakalimutan ng chromaffin cells kasi when a person have pheochromocytoma class, it arises from your chromaffin cells. Ang favorite nila ito, tinatanong sa board exam, itong pheochromocytoma. So, there is a tumor of the chromaffin cells. We have neuroblastoma. Yan. So, class, when you were a fetus, your nerve cells and your adrenal medulla are from neuroblasts. Neuroblasts. So, nung fetus ka pa lang, para gumawa ng nerve cells and adrenal medulla, you need neuroblast. However, if this neuroblast do not mature properly, hindi naging nerve cell, hindi naging adrenal medulla, it can turn into a tumor or a cancer. Yan. Sabi niya, most common extracranial solid tumor that affects children. Yan. So, Instead na magiging nerve cell, instead na magiging adrenal medulla, naging tumor yung neuroblasts. So, it's very common among children. So, class, that's it for today. Thank you for listening.